elbows here is gonna be getting our butt close to our partner's knees. So our goal here is to essentially get our hips underneath our partner's hips. So uh, however we do that, we can do this in the outside position, we can do it with inside position, but we wanna scoop our butt in. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come here. I'm going to pop my butt, pull my two knees in, rock back, and come right here. So it's gonna be the first drill to uh, kind of get our mechanic uh, of getting our hips in closer. So I'm here, I'm pushing, I'm going to pull high, scoot in, do a rocking chair motion. So this is gonna be the first thing I work in my butterfly guard. I wanna keep four points of contact. Slightly before this, actually, I want you guys just to do a rocking chair drill. We're coming here, keeping everything in tight because it'll help with the movement of coming in. And the second thing is just gonna be scooting the butt, keeping knees in, and rocking back. So first, warm up, rocking chair, second, uh, get your hips in. Any questions? Awesome. Uh, give that a go. All right, so we're in a butterfly guard, kind of in an outside range working. We're gonna be in a pin position, looking for an inside position on the upper body. Our partner's not gonna like this. They're gonna take their arms to the inside position, they're gonna pummel in. The second that happens, they go right to the elbows. I'm coming in, scooting. The second Luis posts his arms on the mat, he's gonna have vulnerable limbs. So there's a couple different things we can look to do. The first attack, as Luis is coming down, I'm gonna duck out to the side, I'm gonna expose the back. From here, I'm gonna glue my ear right to the lat. I'm using my claw grip to get deep. And then from here, I'm gonna lock in a full guard right off to the side. From here, I'm gonna be pulling down with my elbow, looking to get a finish. So it's gonna be our first attack, coming in, exploiting uh, their limb extension. So from here, we're kind of on this outside range, we'll come in they're head to head, he looks to drop, and he's gonna be low head. From there, I'm coming right to the elbows. I'm elevating, the second he comes back, make sure I lean out to the side, and I glue my ear. I take my claw grip here, and then I elongate it to the side, and I lock in a finger four. From there, I have one last thing to do. I essentially look to lock in a closed wedge, whether it's ankle over ankle, that's pretty good, or it's a fully locked in triangle, and then I get a strong rotational pull for the finish. Play with your mechanics on how you're doing this. Down by the elbow, a little bit more choke. However, uh, by the wrist bone, it's gonna be a lot more painful. It's gonna be a faster tap. So, different things you can look to do, working off that finger four. One more time. All right, let's give it a go. One, two, three. So, last reaction in the sequence. We're gonna be coming in. One, head comes forward. Two, we post, we get out to the side. From here, instead of shooting out this leg, they're gonna shoot out the opposite leg. So they're gonna be here, looking to shoot back and essentially stop the back exposure. When this happens, I'm gonna start off with going hand deep, and then I'm gonna go elbow deep. From here, Luis is gonna be looking to essentially pull back away from me, and I have a couple different options. My favorite here is just placing my left foot on the mat. I'm gonna have to go against his force of him sitting back here and elevating to my uh, left hand quadrant on this side. So I'm gonna kick, I'm gonna post, and then from there, we're gonna work between our straight leg ashi and then our cross side coming through, gathering that leg. If that doesn't feel available because they're too wide, here, I want you guys just to take the option of coming across and then working to go belly down and then switching it back to your outside heel. So we're in. 
We get forward head. We get to the elbows. We look to scoot our butt. We look to elevate. We get here. As they're coming back, I scoop. One, two, and now he's trying to pull the double back. He's trying to pull back. I'm looking to elevate over the side. If it's close, I'm gonna use my secondary, sorry, my Achilles grip hands. I'm gonna pull this in, and then I'm gonna essentially look to grip right through here, pull up, and look to get into my inverted heel hook. Alternatively, if that's kind of out of out of sight here, boom, and I can't reach back. I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna lock my Achilles grip, and then from there, I'm gonna look to slide. We have different options here. We can look to try to finish on our grip. Alternatively, we can use this Achilles grip just to transition right into our outside heel hook and get the finish. So, I like to really uh, use that Achilles grip to build up tension and then to finish off with the outside heel hook for like my finishing blow. But I'll get uh, my opponent or my partner kind of kind of worried by the tension you're building up with the Achilles block and then switching it off um, to the outside heel hook for the break. Progressing through your grips essentially from wrist to wrist to finger four, trying to like go through the hierarchy of your grips and really get to the end point where it's the tightest grip possible. All right, let's give it a go. One, two, three. We're looking so happy, Lewis. <laughs> 